What is a mind virus? A mind virus is a firm belief that the person in question spreads to other people. A mind virus goes beyond hypnosis. The broad definition of hypnosis is convincing people to go along with your narrative. But a mind virus goes further. Not only do people go along with a narrative, but they also start spreading this narrative themselves. People do what is rewarded. People infected with the mind virus reward recently infected individuals with attention, likes, and followers. As a result, these newly infected people have a strong tendency to spread the mind virus further. How do you recognize an infection with a mind virus? 1. Someone spreads the ideas of another. 2. This person encourages others to think for themselves and do their own research. These are the suggestions that ensure someone comes into contact with the mind virus even more frequently. In fact, it makes no sense because spreading someone else's ideas is the opposite of thinking for yourself and doing your own research. 3. This person uses fallacies and has no rebuttal to good arguments that clearly show the spread ideas are nonsense. 4. People refuse to have skin in the game. That means they refuse to accept any consequences in case they are spreading nonsense. They refuse to put their money where their mouth is. 5. The person increasingly isolates themselves from people who are resistant to the mind virus. They become more and more dependent on the group of other infected individuals. Until the moment it becomes clear that the nonsense they have spread leads to negative consequences. Then, the group of infected people falls apart, and the person is left alone. Alone, completely by themselves, with only the mind virus remaining. How do you get rid of a mind virus? If you often spread someone else's ideas, have no good arguments for them, and refuse to accept consequences if you are wrong, then seek out people who disagree with you. Listen carefully to what they have to say. Then, articulate their viewpoint in such a way that they say, I couldn't have said it better myself. Then, investigate whether you have any counter-arguments at all. If you do, ask your opponents what they think of your counter-arguments. Finally, propose a bet between you and your opponents so that you can discover what your brain thinks of your own stance through a study with financial consequences. If you refuse to bet, then a significant part of your brain disagrees with you. Stop spreading nonsense and talk more often with people who disagree with you. Repeat this process until you are willing to take on the financial consequences of your own viewpoints.